y'all. I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before we get to the video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and comment down below on the video. I really want to hear from you guys. I'd love to know what types of videos you want me to do and what topics you want me to cover, as well as whether or not you agree or disagree with the content of my video. If you agree with me, that's cool. If you disagree, that's cool. But I really want to connect with you guys and chop it up on this boxing talk. Also, if you're a content creator and you make videos and you do live streams on this boxing talk on YouTube and you want to connect to get me to hop on a panel with you or you want to do a debate or anything like that, man, hit me up. You can hit me at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Tank. I'm not talking about the fish tank behind me, y'all. I'm talking about Javante Tank Davis. So let's get it popping. First and foremost, Javante Tank Davis, one of the most exciting fighters in boxing, one of the hardest hitting punchers in boxing. In my opinion, he's definitely the hardest hitting puncher from the 130 to 135 pound division. Let's talk about Tank. See what he's up to and see what we think should be next for the young gun, man. First and foremost, what I've been seeing from Javante Davis lately really, really has me excited for his future and kind of how things are progressing in his career. In his most recent fight, he knocked out Leo Santa Cruz. It was a knockout of the year, in my opinion. Not only did he starch him, he put him to sleep, bro. He put him to sleep, bro. I don't even know if Leo Santa Cruz woke up yet because the, the person that came saying that they was him said they want to fight Tank again, they want a rematch. So I don't think that that's Leo Santa Cruz, bro, because he got to still be asleep, got brain damage or something, bro. I don't know what's up with him because Tank slept him, bro, put him to sleep. People was legitimately worried for his life in that moment, bro. He was he was knocked out, knocked out cold. It, it was definitely knocked out of the year in my opinion. But if y'all don't think it was knocked out of the year, let me know what you think was and we can chop it up, we can debate that. But in my opinion... It's really no debate. But anyway, for that fight in particular, it was the first time I seen him train with Floyd Mayweather. It was the first time I seen the humbleness in Tank. I seen the willingness to um, accept, you know, criticism of the past and really, really try to get better for that fight. He took it serious. And I think he came in and gave one of his best performances of his career. Um, seeing that showed me something, showed me some maturity in him, showed me that he's, he's starting to grow a little bit. And hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Something else that's really promising from what we're seeing from him is that he's been in training camp with Adrian Broner lately. He's been staying in shape. He's been in that ring. He's been boxing in the gym down in Florida, even though he doesn't have a fight date or an announced fight coming up. And that's huge. And that's huge, y'all, because with his talent level and his God-given ability, if he starts to, to bring it together, and start becoming a gym rat like some of these other fighters and, and really, really trying to hone his craft. And then on top of that, when he goes to, to fight camp, be already in shape to get that tutelage from Floyd Mayweather and from his trainer, his other trainers, man, I'm not saying he can't be beat, but a focused and determined and in shape Javante Davis, man, from 130 to 135, who y'all picking against him? If he in shape and he focused... And he and he and he is ready. Who are y'all picking against him, bro? Who you who you picking to beat him? I'm not saying he can't be beat, but who who you picking to beat him? If this Javante Davis show up, the one that's over here training with Adrian Boner and in camp with Adrian Boner, and he ain't even got a fight yet. If that dude show up, the one that said in the interview, I just want to be around boxing. I just want to stay sharp, be around boxing and be ready for training camp. I can go in training camp tomorrow if they give me a fight date. Who on, who gonna beat that guy? Who gonna beat him? I don't know. I don't know. That's a scary proposition for the 130 to 135 pounders, bro. It's him being determined and, and learning and being in shape. That's scary. And see, in my opinion, he got the perfect learning lesson on both sides of the spectrum. You got Floyd Mayweather, who was obviously one of the most talented fighters in boxing, especially defensively, and his ring IQ and counterpunching and just who he was as a fighter. 
who honed his craft, worked in the gym, and was a gym rat, and you saw what it did for his career. And then he also got Adrian Broner, somebody that went the other way. Broner's trying to come back now, but as of right now, he went the other way. Very, very talented, very hard worker, went down the wrong path, parted too hard, you know, got, got too into himself, so to speak, and then his career kind of took a downward spiral. So Javante Davis has both of those examples of what could happen. And so far, since 2020, going into 2021, it seems like he's starting to go this way and going the way of Floyd Mayweather. I'm not saying he's going to be Floyd Mayweather. I don't want y'all to, to get it misconstrued. But if he get focused and he get determined, I don't know who I'm picking to beat him, y'all. Not this Javante Davis that's been showing up recently. Not that one. Not at 130 to 135, bro. I really don't. So what what should be next for him? Who should he fight next? Ryan Garcia been calling him out. Tank said he wants the fight, right? If for some reason that doesn't happen and they can't make it happen, there's a lot of moving parts with the Golden Boy and the zone thing and Tank fighting under Floyd Mayweather and being part of the PBC and either having to fight on Showtime or Fox. That's a lot of moving parts to make the fight happen. So if it doesn't happen and it doesn't get done, what should he do? At 135, in my opinion, it's only three names I really want to see him fight. I want to see the Ryan Garcia fight because Ryan Garcia been calling him out, talking about he's going to knock him out inside of two rounds. You know, Tank said, you must be on steroids or something if you think you're going to knock me out in two rounds. And they've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I just want to see all the talking stop, and I want to see those guys get in the ring. If that doesn't happen, Tiafimo Lopez or Devin Haney. I know Tiafimo Lopez is talking about Cambosis. Seems like he's ducking and dodging on Haney, as everybody seems to be doing. But if Tank Davis come calling, these guys will pick up the phone, bro. Because regardless of who got belts, regardless of what they say, that's the biggest fight for them guys in terms of the revenue generated, man. He's the, he's the money man in that division from 130 to 135 in those two divisions. And you're going to get on pay-per-view with him. Nobody else can ca can carry a pay-per-view by themselves. So it's going to be a pay-per-view fight if you fight him. You get to make more money. So if he come calling, those guys is going to answer the phone. So I love to see him fight Ryan Garcia just because they've been going back and forth. Tiafimo Lopez. Or Devin Haney, bro. Will somebody fight fight Devin, bro? Will some tank? Will you fight Devin, bro? If you can't get the Ryan Garcia fight, and Tiafimo Lopez can't happen, cause let's say he go fight Cambosis, cause you know he been acting kind of kind of shaky lately. Why can't you fight Devin, bro? Why, why not? It'll be a big fight, right? And It'll give you a WBC belt if you beat him. And then that's going to make it even more enticing for Tiafimo Lopez to finally, you know, fight one of y'all, man. So if that, that's if he fight at 135. So if he fight at 135, Ryan Garcia, because Ryan Garcia been talking mad shit, right? Let's get that popping. Let's see what's up with that. If you can't fight him, Tiafimo or Devin Haney, bro. Them the only three people you should be fighting in 135. I don't want to see you trying to fight no Luke Campbell and no shit like that, bro. Don't you try to fight no Jorge Linares, bro. Don't you do that shit, Tank Davis. It's time, bro. It's time. It's time for you to keep stepping up. You stepped up with Leo Santa Cruz. Now it's time to take that next step, bro. That's Those are the people you should be fighting in 135. Now, Tank Davis can fluctuate, right? He can get down to 130. He showed that he can get down to 130, and he's been in shape lately. As we said earlier in this video, he's been training right now. He's in shape right now. He's ready for training camp tomorrow. Those are his words. So if that's the case, 130 is still an option for him. Who can he fight at 130? Look, man. Burchell is already about to fight Oscar Valdez in February. So that's tied up. Jamel Herring... Is already about to fight Carl Frampton in February. That's tied up. So who he gonna fight, bro? What's the what's a good fight for him? If he gonna fight at 130, I don't wanna see him who there's nobody else. There's nobody else for him to fight. Can you please fight Gary Russell if you're gonna fight at 130, bro? Gary Russell? What's up? 
Kerry Russell been trying to get a fight, bro, since I don't even know, man. Eight, nine, ten years. Like, fight Gary Russell, bro. Number one, y'all proximity is so close and where y'all from up down that east coast. From being from Baltimore and the other one being from DC, bro. That'll be live. That'll be lit, bro. That will be turned all the way up. And you fighting the champion. And it ain't like Gary Russell ain't been talking mad shit about you, bro. He been talking mad shit about you, bro. And from all accounts, he wants that type of smoke. So if you go down to 130, he come up, you know, to 130. Because nobody will fight him at 126. That's what you should be looking to do, bro. Don't bring fucking Ab Abner Mares out of retirement, bro. Don't wait for for the loser of either the Burchell in the in the damn um, Valdez fight or the or the Jamel Herring in the Carl Frampton fight. Don't don't fight one of the losers of that fight, bro. I you know what I'll even accept at one thirty since they fighting in February. If you wait, if you're not fighting until the summertime, if you can get one of those guys to step in the ring in the summer, I'll take the winner of those two fights or Gary Russell. But what I really would like for to happen is for you to fight in either March or April, fight Gary Russell if you're fighting at 130, and then get one of those winners if you're going to fight at 130 again. That's your path, bro. 135, Ryan Garcia, right? Tiafimo Lopez or Devin Haney. If you drop down to 130... With the guys that's tied up right now, I, I, I need you in there with Gary Russell, bro. I need that Gary Russell smoke, bro. That will be a phenomenal fight. That'll be an absolutely phenomenal fight. I really, really want to get into who I think will win these fights, bro. I really want to get into that in this video. I want to talk about who's going to win these fights. But I can't do it unless y'all make the fight, bro. I can't talk about fantasy fights, Tank Davis. So I need you to make one of these fights happen, bro. I might got you favored in the fight. I'm probably going to pick you in the fight, but I don't even get to pick you yet. Because I don't know who you fighting, bro. I'm going to be watching, though. I'm going to stay tuned. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. I'll let y'all get back to your day. I appreciate you watching the channel. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below on the video. And if there's a particular video that you want me to do, there's a certain topic that you want me to cover, let me know. If you disagree with me or agree with me, let me know. If you're a content creator and you're talking this boxing talk on YouTube and you want to connect and you want to do a panel or you want to do a debate, Hit me up, bro. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Other than that, we're going to let y'all get back to it. And we out here. Peace.